Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Callie Bransfort and I think that we've probably all tried our hand at some type of DIY during the quarantine. Maybe you made banana bread, maybe you tried some painting tutorial from Pinterest, maybe you tried to cut your own bangs. Nothing like a global pandemic to get you crafty, you know what I mean? All joking aside, today I have a DIY that is actually pretty helpful. I know that I'm probably not the only one who has struggled or still struggles to find good disinfecting wipes. During the quarantine period, I still often find my shelves pretty empty, so I decided to try my hand at making my own. And it actually turns out that it's really easy, and I was able to get like all the ingredients I needed at the Dollar Tree. So I figured I would just put together a quick little video and share with you guys how you can make your own DIY disinfecting wipes using stuff from the Dollar Tree to hopefully save you some time, some hassle, and some money. <laughs> Before we jump into the actual DIY, we need to talk about what makes a DIY disinfecting wipe legit. Like how do you know it's going to kill what you need it to kill if it doesn't say kills 99% of viruses bacteria right on the front, you know what I mean? So the CDC has actually said that using an alcohol that it's at least 70% alcohol content is good enough to kill all of the bacteria and viruses that you want. It's actually like located on a recent coronavirus fact sheet. Now there's two types of alcohol you can use. You can use ethanol alcohol. This is the type of alcohol we drink, or you can use isopropyl. Google, tell me how to say this. Isopropyl. Oh, I was right. Isopropyl alcohol, which is like rubbing alcohol. However you pronounce them, both of these alcohols are effective as long as you're using them at at least 70%. So general rubbing alcohol you can get at the Dollar Tree. I actually got mine at Walmart because my Dollar Tree was sold out because things are still hard to find. Little trick if you're having a hard time finding rubbing alcohol, walmart.com, like fully stocked. Now as far as ethanol alcohol, you need to know that the ethanol alcohol is uh, measured by proof and the proof is double the percent of the alcohol that's in it. So if something is 100 proof, it means it's 50% alcohol. So this means that just like your standard bottle of Tito's is probably not going to be a high enough alcohol content. You need something at least 140 proof to get that 70%. So you need to look for something like Everclear or grain alcohol, which hopefully you have not bought since college or even maybe didn't even buy in college if you made smarter choices than me. Okay, so now we know all about our main disinfecting ingredients. So let me tell you everything you'll need to make your own DIY wipes. First, you're obviously going to need your alcohol of choice. You're also going to need one of those round plastic Tupperwares from the Dollar Tree. You wanna make sure you get the one with the screw top so it's airtight. A roll of paper towels, some dish soap, and then an optional ingredient is essential oils. I'm using lemon and orange, which both do have some of their own cleaning properties, but really I'm using them more to give it a nice smell because the rubbing alcohol does have a pretty harsh scent. What you're going to do is combine about one and three quarters cup alcohol. If you're using something closer to 90% or higher, do about one and a half cups and then add a quarter cup of water just to cut it a little. Then add three tablespoons of dish soap and mix this up. And then if you're using the oil, go ahead and add 10 to 15 drops of it now. Then taking the paper towel, you're gonna cut this in half using a serrated knife. and you're gonna push this into the container of your alcohol mixture. Close it up tight, flip the container upside down a couple of times to fully saturate the paper towels. When you open it back up, you'll see everything has gotten fully saturated and the wet inner cardboard tube will just pull out super easily. And then you can grab the first paper towel from the center of the roll and start using them. And that's it. I actually personally was really surprised at like how quick and easy this was to do and how much more affordable it is than buying the disinfecting wipes because those things have like Lysol wipes are like five bucks a tube. So I just want to jump on, create a super quick little video because I thought this was a really smart little cleaning slash life slash money saving hack and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. So as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.